please discuss the consumption of salt from an evolutionary perspective? The consumption of what? Salt. From salt. An, salt from an evolutionary perspective. Ah. Uh, Interesting. Well, that's an, that's pretty easy. That's pretty easy. Um, because life itself, life as we know it, requires, it runs, life runs on ele electricity. Even the cellular, even at a cellular level, even at a cellular level, when we generate ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate, I like throwing out big words, uh, which is manufactured, which is the energy. ATP is the energy curve. It's the currency. It is the little fuel that every cellular function runs on. All those little pro protein and molecular machines that do work in the cells all require this ATP. And in order to uh, generate this ATP, it's an electrical function we, we run at the most basic level on, on electricity. So does our brain transferring little charges along the neurons, connecting, connecting the, uh, this, the, 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 the uh, connections between the neurons in the brain. So that's why electrolytes are so important because electrolytes if you think of electrolytes like a copper wire, they don't insulate. They allow these charges to flow. And we need them. And we've always needed them. And when life evolved in the first place, these salts were everywhere. And they're salts. And salt water conducts electricity like crazy because of the salts in it. Uh, we need these different salts. And they're, they're metals. They're salts of metals and metal conducts. That's why potassium is an electrolyte. It's a metal. Sodium is a metal. It's an electrolyte. Magnesium is a metal. It's an electrolyte. So in the very beginning, the presence of these electrolytes were the reason why life, I think, fired up in the first place it would never have started without the presence of this and i think one of the more important electrolytes that all living things live on to generate to to be able to generate the pathways for our hearts to be able to run and get the signals the electric signals that control how fast it beats and all those brain functions that when you wire yourself up to a encephalograph and you see all the waveforms on that's electric stuff that's electricity without electrolytes none of that stuff would work we could not live and it's and it it has come right it goes way back to the beginning of life firing up somewhere and beginning to sustain itself using just the 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 chemicals and molecules that existed in in whatever warm pond scum type of environment that life first started to become an automatic thing that that just a reaction started and it just sustained itself uh it's a miracle that it ever happened but it, it did it must have happened because we're here that's why we harp on electrolytes and they're so important they were some of the first things present at the beginning of life. And since our basic cellular functioning still works the same way as those early, early living single cell prokaryotes did, we still need, they needed electrolytes and we still need it. And the problem is the soil, all of our modern farming methods have just raped the soil and taken so many of these mineral, these metal salts out and everything comes up the food chain from the soil, which is the source or the sea. 
which is the source of all nutrients. Now, there's plenty of salt in the sea, so when you eat seafood, you're going to get plenty of electrolytes. But God, when you eat some of the animal food that grazes on the grass and the grass grows in the soil and the soil is devoid of electrolytes because of the way they've raped it for monocropping and everything, yes, we need to supplement. And that's why they call them supplements. They don't call them essential. They call them supplements. They are there to replace things that for some reason or another have used to be around, but they're not anymore. And uh, that's the evolutionary source of it. And, and, and as evidence that salt has always been necessary for life as an electrolyte is just the term salt lick. Animals can't live a lot of animals until unless they have some salt deposit that they can go and they are instinctually driven to it. They get a craving for salt. We have a very, very refined regulatory system to keep the sodium levels in our blood exactly where they're supposed to be. And we are governed by our taste. It's no coincidence that we think of the expression salt to taste. We instinctually know. We never had to learn. It is a root basic biological function that we know, and we're all a little different. When something needs salt, or when we've put too much salt in something and it's too salty. That isn't just something we decided. That comes to us as an instinct from the beginning of time. We, it's so important to us that we know exactly when we're getting the right amount of salt because that's when the food just tastes the best. All of this stuff is all linked together. It's all linked together and it's just fascinating as hell. And it's one of the reasons why evolutionary biology, of all the things that I've been fascinated by, evolutionary biology is by and large the most fascinating thing I've ever studied. And because of the new sciences that we have to be able to learn how this stuff actually worked long, long ago, we, we just over the past half a century have learned so much about why things work the way, we, the way that they do today. And I hope that that answered that question. It is a, an absolutely fascinating subject and leads, it leads you to an understanding of so many of other life's functions if you ask that same question, Mama Bear, that you asked, where did it come from? Why is it like it is? Why do, you know, how far back did we finally decide we needed salt? Great question. Great question. I mean, a champion question. Thank you. Thank you so much. I like the way you're starting to think. 